Okay, YouTube, this is my other video I was talking about before about the Better Homes and Gardens potting container mix I was using as warm bedding. And this is not all that. The bedding is, I mean, the potting mix, container mix stuff, but I also added for a food source um, some pig manure bedding that had straw and newspaper, and I added some of my worm chow, and I also added bits and pieces of paper. And to cover it up, I used an old t shirt. They kept keep the moisture in it and stuff, and you can see some fungal growth, white mold here, or fungi growth, which is good. They'll love it, but now we're going to start digging in here and seeing how they're doing. And I used night crawlers, European night crawlers, which are good fishing worms and stuff, but this is going to be a quick little video to see how they're doing. And here's the bedding. And I hope you like it. This is close up, and... um. Not seeing any here, but I wondered if they would like that or not. But hang on, I just saw some. Just saw some. If y'all saw it, there they are moving. I swear I just seen one moving around here. And of course, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Here we go. Here's one. And yeah, they're still doing good. They're still moving around. When I first introduced, but when I first introduced them to this, they were liking it. They seemed to do pretty good. I added the worm child in it. But I wondered, can I use this pig manure as it? I see something white moving down there. And I'm just going to now, in my next video, I'm going to introduce them to the mushroom compost and watch how they do. So here's one right here trying to get away. And, but they're flourishing, you know. I found have found cocoons in here. And here's another one. Some of that might be vermiculite or perlite, but let's see if this is... If we can find any of the cocoons in here. I don't think you can see it, but I need to get a new camera phone or even a camera that's better. But here we go. Here they are. They're just living off of this um, paper and stuff mixed in here. But the bedding, the container mix bedding, this brand I was using, Better Homes and Gardens, it seemed to do good. But I wouldn't recommend using it as a, you know, like all the time. I mean, you need to add stuff to the top, like... Worm chow or use coffee grounds or something. Whatever you feel comfortable feeding them. But this stuff is wet and has good moisture holding in it. But here we are. I just saw one. It is up close. That little... I know you can't see too well, but that little where I'm pointing at. That's kind of a goldish brownish color. That is a worm cocoon. And worm cocoons are like a lemon football shaped. But this is the other bedding I was... It was a temporary bedding I was using. That container mix it is. And I just used this temporarily because like I said I couldn't find any... Any other stuff in the store to use. I was at Walmart and they were out of almost everything except this. And some other brands of potting soil. And I just like, okay, let's just try this, see what happens. But I hope you liked this video, and I hope you look forward to my next video.